Sometimes the ball will be in my hand, sometimes in my pocket. Steve Stewart changed his name from Looker. Where's the ball? On the top is wrong, it's on the bottom. The cup is upside down. Now the next question. Middlesbrough one, Looker none. We shall start again. Perhaps my speed is baffling you. So what I shall do is I shall put my hands in my pocket so I can't cheat, okay? Can't cheat. Now, where's the ball? On the top of the bottom. <laughs> well, if we're going to get clever, <laughs> be very careful I don't sneak it into my left hand. If that ball gets into my left hand, then the ball's in my left hand. If it's not in my hand like that, then it's under the cup. If it's under the cup, it's not in my hand. If it was in that hand, it couldn't be in that one. If it was up there at the same time as it was down there, it couldn't be in the pocket. If it was in the pocket, it couldn't be up there at the same time it was down there, because then the cup and the ball could not be together. If they were together, then they couldn't be separate. On the other hand, if it was in my pocket, it couldn't be up there. If it was up there, it couldn't be down here. If the cup is empty and the cup is empty, it can't have the ball in the cup, can it? No. So what you do, you take it out of the cup, you put it in your pocket, you flick the ball, it goes up there, it can't be down there, can it? No. Right. We'll start the trick. Here's a trick with a cup and a ball. Are you following me? So you suspect the packet? Might have. Might have. Something in it. Aha! It's killed the end of the show, but aha! <laughs> Place the corner back on the stage then. Snap the polo mints in two. Woof, like that. You can do it. Go for it. Yes. In a loud, clear voice, what is inside that packet? Polos. <laughs> <laughs> what did you expect? Maltesers? I know there's polo. No, I'm kidding. In the hall in the middle, there is, there is, isn't there? No, there isn't. Ah, it's gone wrong. Well, life's like that, isn't it? Life's like that. How many times has your accountant said you won't have to pay much tax this year? And it's gone wrong. You know what I mean? It's gone wrong. It's, yeah. <laughs> Have you had your dinner tonight? No. Nay, no, dinner. No. Yes. Have you ha therefore no pudding? No pudding. Right. I shall make you a pudding, the like of which you cannot obtain from anywhere else. A pair of nutcrackers. That's what you need, ladies and gentlemen, a pair of nutcrackers. Now I'm also going to use one of these. This is a walnut, okay? That's all it is, a walnut. And I'm going to put an egg on top of it like that and hit it hard to create the dessert. It absorbs the nut. The moment the nut is inside there, what have we got? I'm glad you asked that, Joe. I'm very glad. Sorry, did I wake you up then? Yes, okay, right. This is an eggy-flavored nut pudding or a nutty-flavored egg pudding. It all depends where you come from. And I'm going to put one of these on top. This is a lemon, and it absorbs the nut and the egg. How do they get in there? Lemon entry, my dear Watson. <laughs> I promised, I promised. I keep my promises. Uh, I don't need that. What did I do with the razor blade? There it is. And in slicing this open, I repeat, big thanks to you. Big thanks to everybody that got involved with asking questions, writing questions. People that came on the stage, checked notes and held notes and all that. Particularly you for the donation, of course, you know. If I slice the top off that now, because I have partitioned it, you can see the pieces peel away to reveal the egg. Nobody believed, but it's true, isn't it? That is an eggy flavor. What are you pulling a face at? You, eh? <laughs> no, 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 your note is not in the egg. No, silly boy, no. It's, it might be in the nut. And I do hope that you and this nut will be very happy together. In fact, I think I can safely say you will like this nut a lot. But you will like it. Yes. I want you to hold on up very high in the air. Can you do that for me? Finger and thumb. Very high in the air. High. High in the air. Can you all see this nut? <laughs> yeah. Well, of course, of course. Now, just put it in there yourself. Cup your hand right round it as you do so. You must keep your hand right round it. Crossways on with the nut is the best way. Yeah. Uh, like, sort of like that. Yeah. Now, it's just a nut, okay? Now, keep your hand round and smash it open because it shot off one night and hit a woman. She didn't laugh, but I thought my knickers had never dry. You know, really belt it. Go on, really belt it. Munch. That's it. Go for it. Go, yeah. Now, it's broken, yeah. Now, I'll have the crackers back. 
and and you un, sort of un, not unfold but pull apart all the mucky bits you've got there now in there piece of paper right i'll have the rubbish you unfold the piece of paper and you'll find it's not just a piece of paper you'll find it's a bank of scotland 20 pound note could be any 20 pound note so just check for me does that corner torn from your 20 not only fit but does it fit exactly and is the number the same from side to side in other words is the 20 pound note that you've just found inside that nut inside that egg inside that lemon is it yours Yes, it is. Tis magic. Good night. God bless. Enjoy the festival.